hustle by my radius. I keep it too real for real, and that's what that's what made me rich. That's what made me rich. Hustle, that's what made me rich. It's week one of the NFL, and we'll see who rules the skies in today's battle. It's the Eagles and the Ravens, and it's coming up next. With Chesapeake Bay gleaming in the distance, we are inside m and Bank Stadium near the Inner Harbor in Baltimore, Maryland. Today, it is the opener of the 2024 NFL season, as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Baltimore Ravens. With my good friend Charles Davis in the booth, I'm Brandon Gauden, and the moment has finally arrived, CD. It's time to begin a new NFL season. Partner, there's no hiding my excitement as I got ready this morning. I could not wait to get here for this game. Imagine what it's like out there on the field for those players, though. OTAs, training camp, preseason, it's all led to this moment when they officially kick... Justin Tucker set to boom this one away. And off we go from M&T Bank Stadium. And no run back on this one, so the new season will begin at the 25-yard line. Philly's offense getting ready, and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them. The second-round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. A tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. Calling no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. Here's Hurts to throw. And he goes down. The Ravens able to get to him. And Shaq Wilson worked his way in there to get him down. Just two plays in, and Charles already their first sack defensively. Yeah, how about that? That didn't take long, did it? And now they look at third down, and that's another time to try and go and get the quarterback, too. So after that sack, Hurts and the Eagles, tough spot here, third and long. They'll drop to throw. And this one complete to Smith. And he's not going to sniff the first down here. He stopped at the 25. They'll get eight, but they're going to have to punt here on the opening drive because that's not enough. And here's Daniel Wheeling on now to punt. On the return, here comes Newsom. A pretty good punt there, but also a nice return of 12 yards. And the Ravens, they'll take over. A number eight, Lamar Jackson, trotting onto the field at quarterback, ready to lead this Ravens offense. And he remains the league's premier rushing threat and one of the biggest playmakers of one quarterbacks. His goal each and every season, continue to expand his game as a passer and become well-rounded. All those highlight reel plays you see, they come off the fact that he can run it, throw it, and scares defenses every time he takes a snap. So the completion good for just three, and it'll be second down. Now it's Jackson. This ball tipped, and it's going to be incomplete. Fortunate maybe to get that back. It's third down. So seven yards from the first down here as they come up to the line of scrimmage. On third down, Jackson. And it'll find the open man. That's complete. He's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. Pulled out a very strong gain of 24. Has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll run for the first time with J.K. Dobbins. And they're going to stop him right at the line of scrimmage. 
scrimmage. Just no cutback lane to be found whatsoever. Second and ten. Here's second and ten. Jackson. The short one there, caught by Likely. And only able to get two here, stopped at the 30. They got to get to the 23 here on third. Here's Jackson to throw. And he will not be able to hang on to the contact. It's incomplete. The coverage strong, and now it's fourth down. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. It'll be a 47-yard attempt from the left hash. Tucker's kick is good, and the Ravens strike first and throws in. So an opening drive field goal maybe doesn't whip this crowd into a frenzy, but I think that they will take the early lead. There's no doubt about it. They will always take the early lead, and maybe that celebration comes later if they play well and they can break things open. But right now, this is all about letting the offense just get settled in. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. They went three and out on their first drive of the new season. Not an ideal beginning as they start drive number two, first and ten. Play action. Here's Hurts. This is Smith with a grab. And they work this right up field across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard game. I don't care who you put on him, he's going to be a handful in one-on-one -on -one throws. Yeah, right now, you're right. They're in man-to-man. -man. Maybe need some safety help. I would say that'd be a good idea. Double-team him somehow. I'm going to have to make someone else beat me rather than let him shred my defense. Well, that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, force the ball free, and it's second down. Hurts. And he'll let this one go deep for Chark. And he bats it away, and it falls down incomplete. There is something to a game plan with trying to keep a defense honest with a guy with that type of speed. You do so. Send him deep. Try to throw some air under it and hope you connect down. And the Raven pressure too much. Down he goes. Credit that sack to Travis Jones. And this is what you've got to do against a quarterback like him. You've got to keep him in the pocket and not let him get to the perimeter because once he gets outside, that's where he can really hurt you. And he couldn't get it to check up. That kicks all the way into the end zone for a touchback. Baltimore set to take over here for their second possession of the game. They finished off their opening drive of the campaign with a field goal on the last drive. Now they'll search for a touchdown here on this goal round. First and ten. To throw is Jackson. Oh, that's into double coverage and intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. you got to know as a quarterback that's going to be tough to outthink this guy in the defensive backfield. He's been at it 11 years now, so he knows all the ins and outs of the position. And he's in the right spot there to come up with the interception. Eagles set and ready for their next offensive drive. And down by a field goal, they'll take over with excellent field position following the interception. So first and 10 now from the 30. Off the play fake, he is hurt. It's caught on the right side of Smith. And he'll head out of bounds inside the 10. Mark it down at the 9. A good pick up there. John Harbaugh never shy about bringing out the red challenge flag, and he'll do so here. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I, I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the challenge there does not go their way. This will indeed remain a completed pass. And it's caught. Nice gain of eight that time, but it's second and goal. Swift will take this one in for an Eagles touchdown. 
And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, if you're slow and reacting, this is going to be the result. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. And he's one for one on the new year as his kick is good. The drive there only spanning three plays. And it ends with a one-yard touchdown run. Taking it about the one. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. And for this offense, Charles, you got to think kind of crucial here to put something together on this drive because remember last time out, they threw the interception on the very first play. And you can't afford to let this defense keep building any more momentum. They're playing awfully well and they're awfully confident right now. To me, it's time to attack and take some of that momentum back. But make sure you're selective in doing so. Understand where you want to throw the football and make sure it's open before the ball leaves your hands. On second down, a run with Dobbins. And he'll take this to the 32, a gain of about three. They'll come to the line, needing only two yards to gain the first here. Third and two, here's Jackson. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down the yardage. Give him seven on the tuck and run, and then he'll get a new set of downs. He's a talented runner. That means he's always looking for bigger and bigger gains when he takes off. Certainly found some bonus yards there beyond the first down marker, and his early drive will continue with that extra jolt from his legs. Meanwhile, Jackson's thrown into the hands of Andrews. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle, and they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that, you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch. Now you put the offense in a position where every series, they have to work hard to pick up first downs, and you tend to stall them out when you do that. And he's getting the first down yardage as he takes it down to the 49. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. So for Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 49-yard line. This time, Jackson will throw it. And that is incomplete. Out of coverage, a little too good there. And it's second down. Jackson on the give to Dobbins. And he's going to take this close to the first down marker as he stopped at the Eagles 41. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. They'll try to run for it with Dobbins. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. They get six on the pick up there as the drive will continue. So from the 36 now, first and ten. Another run here with Dobbins. And he'll get it inside the 35. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving. Get your body going. Oh, and his early struggles continue. Here's another one intercepted. Picked off by Anthony Walker. And the Eagles are going to take possession as they've got it at the 42-yard line. Well, they're certainly not giving much help to their defense, are they? Because for the second time now, that D has had to run back out on the field early after an interception. And remember, on the last drive, the opposing side took it in for six after that interception. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. But first down, Hurts. Over the middle of Smith. And he's going to get 
solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a yard. In motion right is Brown. And they're going to give it to him on the jet sweep. Brown with a stick skills. And a strong run there as he'll take this all the way down to the 35. It's a gain of 13 and a first down for Philadelphia. How about that there? No frills, no additives, right? Nothing crazy. Just find a way to pick up the first down. A nice run right there. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. It's caught Smith. And he's got this down almost to the 20 before he's dropped. They'll get 13 yards for the second play in a row. After 1-7-3 the score on EA Sports. Start of the second quarter, and it's the Eagles in possession. As they've got it with a first and 10. On the option to give the Swift here. And he doesn't quite make it, taking it within an eyelash. Dropped at the one. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They're making it look easy out there. Another first down. So, so far on this drive, let me do this little bit of math here. Four plays, three first downs. That's a pretty good recipe for success. And they've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Here's Swift. And he's in. Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Eagles are able to stretch out their lead. So his strong first half continues as he finds the end zone here for the second time. And definitely good blocking at the point of attack. And you just have to love watching the way he can create space down near the goal line. And he's able to take it into the end zone. Elliott Good with a PAT. And that pushes the lead up to 11. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Unable to corral him. He fights through. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, you had your fun? All right. Throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. On second down, here's Jackson. And this one is incomplete. And just know when that play call came in, their eyes lit up because anytime you get a chance to take a big shot downfield, that's a lot of fun, and they missed an opportunity. Jackson now. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Patrick Johnson gets in there to drop him for a loss of 13 yards, and it's also fourth down now. Now that was a passer's nightmare. The front door totally shut down by the defense, so he kept going backwards, hoping to find another avenue of escape. It didn't exist. The Ravens send their punt around now, as his first punt will come from inside his own end zone. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And the Eagles will have great starting field position here as they take over. Philadelphia's offense ready to go again. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated grooves. Remember, the offense scored a touchdown on their last time out. Looking to repeat that in Charles' defense. They were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just about as good as in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. On first and 10, it's Swift. Down to about the 32. Well, that's just a pile of bodies there, and that's when you kind of find out who's a tough guy, right? Who can stand up and make a play? It was only a three-yard run, but for both sides, they had to walk away from that field. I'm like, okay, 
I can stand up when the goal gets tough in here. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 19. That one goes for 13 yards and it moves the sticks. From the gun, here's Swift. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stopped that one by the line of scrimmage. Tough spot here, third down and 11. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he's wrapped up, taken down, back of the 25. And that'll bring up fourth down with a big sack for a loss of five. So Hurts is on, fan. On comes Jake Elliott for the Eagle field goal. Right hash mark of 42 yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And they will stretch the lead now to 17 to three. So three points there, and they continue to build this first half lead. Yeah, every little bit helps. And the more that you can put together drives and start controlling the tempo, controlling possession, finishing with points, the better off you're going to be. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Baltimore about ready to go on offense. Well, these guys definitely hoping for a better showing than their last appearance. They couldn't really even move the football much beyond the shadows of their own goalposts, Charles. We'll see if they can get a better, more sustained drive going here. Yeah, and every team that we ever talk to says the exact same thing. When you start a drive from that deep in your own territory, the goal is a minimum of at least two first downs because even if you have to punt then, you change the field position, right? You flip the field a little bit. They didn't get that done. This time they want to string together a nice drive and help themselves out. On second down, here's a keeper by the QB. And he'll be limited to a short gain up to about the 34-yard line. The offense on third down tonight, they've converted four times out of six. Not bad. They're looking at third and a few inches. Option play, and they'll hand to Dobbins. And he's able to get the first before he's taken down at the 36. Exactly what they needed right there, because they needed to use the ground game to take some pressure off, because the quarterback's been struggling a little bit. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. That's into the hands of Flowers over the middle. And just three yards on the catch there. He couldn't get away. And it'll be second down. Now Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. It'll be a gain of five. And this will wind up being a third and three. Coming up here looking for three yards to pick up the first. They go back to the ground with Dobbins. And he appears to be about two feet short on third and three. Leaves him with a fourth and one. Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. Fourth down, and out comes Jordan Stout here to punt. 46 on his first kick. This one in that neighborhood as well. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoots all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. And they split the uprights last time for three. They've got the lead. They're not going to play this conservative. They're, they're not hoping for another field goal. They're hoping for a touchdown. I'm with you on that one. I like where your head is. I like the way you're thinking because you're exactly right. Trying to sit on a lead and play that way, that doesn't work too well for most teams. Run your offense. Run what you do. Don't get exactly. Put it all the way down and try to increase your lead in a big way. The best way to do it, touchdowns. They come up on second and long, and the pass protection just has not been there this afternoon. Throwing his hurts. Complete. Smith has it. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch. And that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. Backed up here. Tough spot. Needing 11 yards to pick up the first. Third down, he'll drop to throw. And he'll get this up to the 30-yard line. 
Hurts dangerous when he runs that football. He's got a first. At least this time he's getting hit after a positive play for his offense. The pressure was coming through yet again, but he certainly didn't stick around for the sack on this occasion. Found an escape route and ended up getting the first down before taking. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Second and 12. On the option to give to Swift here. And give him six yards here as he stopped near the 35 at the 34. On a second and long, it's really nice to see an offense that has enough confidence to run the football in that situation. I think that goes back to their practice and game planning. They've seen things that they've seen on tape and in previous games that led them to believe that even in a long-distance situation, they can still run the football and gain enough yardage to put themselves in a good spot on third down. This might be their opportunity to get off the field. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. So a change of possession here on the punt. And it will be first to ten as they take over. Now the Baltimore offense heading back out onto the field. Defense got the better of them last series, forcing a punt. See if they make a few changes in the game plan here and try to get points out of this drive. First and ten. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Looking for Bateman, he's got him complete. And he almost gets this to the 30, taken down about a yard shy. Now Jackson on first down. That'll be caught, Wallace hauls it in. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. That one goes for 24 yards. These guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball, and what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back, and he'll get it down here to the 43. Short completion, just four yards, and it'll be second down. Creeping up on a minute to play in this first half. Now Jackson on second down. Targeting Dobbins again, and he's got it again. And he'll get it down to the play to the 37. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10. Here's Jackson. A short throw caught by Andrews. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 33 seconds to go in the first half. Throwing again on second down, but this time it's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all, and I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. Now the throw on third down, knocked away and incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. So Jackson will head to the Ravens' sideline, and on comes Justin Tucker for the field goal try. From the right hash, this from 53. Tucker's kick is good. And a second field goal here gets him back with an 11 now. It's 17-6. to six. So the three points here, they're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. And not wanting to risk anything here late in the half. He'll just take a knee, and they'll bring the football out to the 25. And the Eagles going to get one final possession in this first half. And with a two-score lead already, they may just look to get this thing to the locker room. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there, forced the ball free, and it's second down. Not wanting to take a chance this time, they'll keep it on the ground. And he'll just keep two hands on the football as he'll be taken down after a short pickup. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we send you down to Orlando, where Jonathan Coachman has our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. 
All right, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome back to football, everybody. We've got a full slate of 16 games here to start the new season. So let's take our first trip around the NFL. We'll begin out in Houston. And it's the Texans out in front as that one is just about to halftime. A couple of touchdowns there for Damian Pierce. From there, let's head to New Jersey. The Jets at home at MetLife Stadium. And in that one, it's the visiting Dolphins who are out in front. Two touchdown passes there for Tua Tungavailoa. We watched a solid performance out of running back DeAndre Swift. He chipped in a couple of touchdown runs as he was running with determination right from the word go. And up to about the 26-yard line, just across the 25. The Raven offense set to start this third quarter. Charles, it'll be interesting to see what adjustments this offense made in the locker room. Haven't really been able to get anything going offensively, virtually nothing in the ground attack either. So certainly something has to change here in quarter three. And I'm pretty sure their friends from the defensive side of the ball told them exactly. Oh, and for the third time, Jackson going to be intercepted. And he takes this one back into the end zone. And the Eagles defense gets a pick six TD. And Charles, for this offense, those interception woes they kind of had in the first half have now followed them into the second half. And for this defense, they take advantage, turn that into a pick six. And that defense is in a spot now where they're thinking about ways to close this game out. And as confidently as they've been playing, I expect them to do exactly that. Elliott now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 18 now. A heck of a play there defensively, getting the interception, navigating his way into the end zone for the touchdown. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. Taken at the goal line. And he will make it to the 20-yard line and no further. Ravens offense getting set and ready for this next drive. I kind of feel like they've reached a do-or-die point in this game, Charles. If they're going to try to pull off an impressive comeback, it has to start right here, right now. Yeah, now they've got a final chance to get out of this situation, but they also understand they've got to move the ball and move it fast. In addition, they need to save as much time so they can get two more possessions. Now Dobbins again on second down. And there just continues to be nowhere to run. He's bottled up again at the line of scrimmage. A third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. Work in the middle of the field and he's got a man complete. And he will have a Ravens first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. That's good for a Baltimore first down. First and 10 at the 42-yard line. On first and 10, it's Jackson. Got his man complete over the middle. That's Flowers. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. He's been a one-man wrecking crew these last couple of plays. This time, 18 more and a first down. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football. And right now, I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do where they are in this game they've got to push the ball downfield take their shots try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time that was a nice play there knifes his way forward here but just three yards on the play second down second and seven now it's jackson throw caught by flowers He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. To throw is Jackson. And this is going to be incomplete. Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Coverage was awfully tight there on third down. They actually closed off all the passing lanes forcing the incompletion and bringing up fourth down. 
Tucker's kick is good, and that'll get the deficit down to 15. So that one is his third of the game. Now, if you're wondering, that's only halfway to his career high, as he once had six oh, field goals. Oh, Brandon, oh, six? Let's hope we don't get that again, <laughs> please. Okay, can, can we see a few touchdowns here and there? That'd be nice. And he'll elect not to return this one, so they'll bring it out to the 25 on the touchback. Eagles offense back out, getting set for this next drive. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. They're connecting here with D.J. Sharp. And they work this well upfield across the 45. A well-executed 22-yard gain. I'll tell you what, a lot of those mid-range throws have been available because sometimes teams get too concerned about the deep ball and they leave too much space in front of them. And these guys have been taking advantage so far. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And he'll take this ahead for about four. Second down coming up. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. Hurts. His throw incomplete. My first thought is surprise because that's one of the better tight ends around, and I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? Here's Hurts to throw. That is caught. And past the 35, he'll be dropped a yard or two shy of the 30. First catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. And now we get into the psychology of the whole thing because a lot of teams with a two-score lead in the third quarter, they almost become defensive with their offense, just playing not to lose. I think with this team, you got to figure at this point, this is a great spot for them to go into attack mode, really try and put the hammer down and finish this one off. Well, they have a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Normally being a big-bodied receiver plays to their advantage downfield, go up and make the catch, take the hit, and pick up yardage. But in this case, the hit was timed really well and popped it free from his grasp. Hurts throw taken in by Chark. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens 21. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll manage to pick up about four at second down. They're a pretty good spot right now with a convincing lead. I think this is where they put on the boxing gloves and start to try and pound them into submission. And the offensive line, they've controlled this game. I don't see why that trend would change now. And he's eaten up at the line of scrimmage. Might have gotten a yard down to the 16. They'll break the huddle and come up on the ninth play of this drive, needing five yards on third down. Hurts. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And the Eagles are going to have first and goal as they try to finish off this drive with six points. And in a lot of ways, that catch is expected. Red zone presence, and that one was realized there. You've got to find your tight end in that situation. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. Touchdown, Eagles! A.J. Brown from 10 yards out. And the Eagles are looking good here in the season opener as they're able to extend their lead. Charles, a well-drawn-up play, beautifully executed, and... Look at the scoreboard and where we're at in the second half. They are on their way to a 1-0 start to this season. Exactly what every team in the league dreams of. Winning your season opener, getting off to that good start, and building confidence for the rest of the season. Elliott good on the extra point, and the lead opens up now to 22 points. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. And Baltimore's offense set for this next possession. Well, this has been a tough one for them, Charles. They've struggled really on both sides of the football. And one thing that's really plagued them, the turnovers. They've had issues keeping the football in their possession. 
and every game that's ever been played, <laughs> all coaches talk about taking care of the football and limiting turnovers. And in this one, after we saw that first turnover, we worried that things would snowball, and it certainly did, especially on the scoreboard. And he'll get to him quickly here as he'll get a yard, just a yard to the 22. Now they face a second and long following the holding penalty. Jackson with a handoff to Dobbins on the option. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. This defense is just flat getting after it. They have not given up much of anything in the run game. Case in point right there. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Jackson now. Throw left side complete. That's Wallace. The result only four yards there on the play. And that'll bring up fourth down. I think that call was made not so much to try and get the first down, although <laughs> they would have taken it if they could have gotten it. But to give their punter a little bit of space and try and help out their defense. Yeah, they got the safe completion on third. Averaging 50 yards of boot so far as this one's away. Fair catch taken just inside the 40-yard line. So possession goes over here on the punt. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. They're just looking to do more of the same. They were good in the first half. They've extended their lead so far here in the second half. I don't know, they're just looking good on all, hitting on all cylinders right now. And sometimes that means a head coach who really has a finger on the pulse of the team may not have anything to say at all. May tell the rest of the coaches, just back it off a little bit. This team has it under control. I remember hearing about Bob Knight years ago in basketball, getting ready to give the final speech before the gold medal game in 84. And on the board, Michael Jordan wrote, had written, Coach, after all we've been through, there's no way we're losing the night. He didn't even give a pregame speech. Wow, interesting. Well, right now, no speech is needed. They run out of the gun with Swift. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Good yardage there on first down. Exactly what you want. Get yourself set up to keep making first downs. Keep the clock running. And if they're smart, you're starting to milk the clock. Oh, and Hertz is going to be hit and taken down to the ground. They dial up the corner blitz that time, and it delivers to the tune of a nine-yard loss. I don't know what else can be said about this pass rush. They have been sensational, CD. That is now six sacks for them. And how many times do we talk to offensive coordinators, and they say a sack is a result of everyone on offense not doing their job? But let's be honest about this one. This is the offensive line unable to counter the pass rush. They've been teeing off all game long. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 31-yard line. 17 yards on the pickup there. The drive will continue. Altogether, a pretty shaky start to the year for this defense as they defend another first and 10. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down. Second and right at a yard. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Throwing his hurts. Looking middle, and that's complete. And they just keep marching right along. First down on a pickup of eight there. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Baltimore. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Officially, it's a one-yard loss. That's going to bring up second and 11. At the 14-yard line. Hurt sets up to throw it. Flush to his right. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Adafi Owe showing off the pass rush skills. 
This offensive line flat out cannot handle this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of seven sacks in this game thus far. A throw there, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Well, fourth quarter with a three-score lead here, Charles, but they're still going back to the air and looking for more points. Well, with this game well in hand, it's an opportunity for the guys to come off the bench and get a chance to play. And a lot of coaches, they want to run their full playbook no matter who's on the field. Well, ultimately, not really sure that they're going to need those three points, but they'll take the three, and they pad that lead. Yeah, this one's already wrapped up, but you and I both know, if you're an offensive coordinator, you never let up on the gas unless the head coach tells you to do so. And maybe you've actually clicked him off in your headset so you can keep calling plays and trying to add to this lead. The Ravens offense now, they get set and head back onto the field. And whatever promise they showed in the preseason has not translated into week one because they have not been particularly competitive here at home, no less. So these fans just kind of beside themselves right now. Now Jackson, and he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27th. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Now Jackson. And his throw's going to be incomplete. So many times when we talk about coverage, we're just about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. On third down, Jackson. Steps away to his left. Not at all what they envisioned on third down. Three yards in the wrong direction. And they're indeed going to go for it here on fourth down. So trailing here in the last quarter. Let's see how this plays out. Now they go for it on fourth, but this one is going to wind up incomplete. The Ravens go for it, but come up empty. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. So the defense has to stay out and get one more stop. They were able to do it, forcing the incompletion. So on their record, that goes down as a successful play. It doesn't matter how they got there, how it happened. They got it done. They're the ones that are jubilant. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. The CD, they're up big, but they're still passing it. I mean, this is an offense that's had a lot of success in this game, and it seems like they're just having fun out there. And it does feel like there's been a shift out there, doesn't it, partner? Listen, if you're up, you can continue to do what you want to do. It's up to the other team to make you change how you do things. They'll continue to throw it around until stopped. 76 yards rushing for him now with a couple of touchdown runs to boot. From the gun, it's Hurts. Being chased out. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Shaq Lawson giving him once again his third sack of the afternoon. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. This will be caught at about the six. Showed off the toughness, but still corralled shy of the five at the six. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. From the shotgun, he'll look to throw. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. It's a six-yard touchdown pass. And the Eagles are closing in on a winning start to the year as they extend their fourth-quarter lead. Well, Charles, no matter what the prognosticators say before the season, whether they think you're going to be good, bad, or somewhere in the middle, you never quite know how week one is going to play out. But for them, it has been an impressive performance, and they are well on their way to a 1-0 start. Yeah, it's a lot like opening up presents, isn't it, partner? You're not quite sure what's inside, but you're hopeful, right? In this case, exactly what they were looking for, exactly what they need. Elliott Good with a PAT. Man, this one was over a while ago as they just add on to that big lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. 
And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Jackson and the Ravens come up now first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Picked off by Micah Hyde. And they have the football and will set up shop at the 33-yard line. But with this advantage, this defense knew that passes were coming. And they stayed in position, Charles, and picked one off here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, what a way to cap things off, huh? Because I think this is part of the game within the game. They see the scoreboard. They see what they can accomplish, and they went for it. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. On the handoff, this is Swift. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Linebacker Patrick Queen bringing him down. Second and 10 at the 34-yard line. Right back to Swift again on second down. A little juke. Stops short of the 25, and that second effort got him a couple extra. Eight yards there on the carry, and now they're left with a much more manageable third and three. They go play action with Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down. They needed three. He doubled that. He got six. First down, Eagles. Are you kidding me? Really? But first down, it Hurts. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Brings up second and ten. That's a 20-yard line. Here's a handoff to Swift. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. Call it no gain on the run there, and now they'll be looking at a third down. The Eagles on third down. They've converted six times and could use a seventh here. This is third and ten. Hurts with a quick throw complete. And he's going to come up well short as they rally up to stop him at about the 16. So just three yards on the completion there. And that's going to bring up a fourth down. A 33-yard down. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will extend their lead even further. So they got the turnover started with great field position, but in the end, the defense able to hold firm, and they only get three out of it. And I like what you said right there, that defense able to hold firm, backed up into the shadow of their own end zone. The goal post right behind them. They had to make sure they didn't give up the six, and boy, they came through in a big way. To them, even though they gave up three, that's a win for their side. The Ravens offense back out there. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the 30-yard line. Throwing is Jackson. He'll swing this out to Dobbins. He's brought down at the 34. Call it a gain of four. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. Here's Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And he's going to come up a few yards short of the first. They get him to the ground at the 37. He did his best to just get four out of that, but not enough. And now fourth down. The Ravens send their punter out now. As he'll punt it away for the fourth time today. He's averaging just under 50 yards a punt as he gets this away. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. And this has been quite a performance to kick off the new year on the road, no less, as they try to finish things off here in the fourth quarter. 
They'll start on the ground with Swift. And not much to speak of. Call it a one-yard gain up to the 15. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces. It, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. So it's Eagle football here as we get you reset. Third and 12. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. And he is going to lose yardage here. A three-yard loss. Fourth down now. Well, that was a third and long run, and to me, that was just a wave the white flag kind of a situation. Obviously, they don't want to risk the chance of throwing it downfield and risking a turnover in this section of the field. The Eagles send out their punter now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. Newsom now on the return. A nice return that time gets 12 yards back. And the Ravens set up well to begin their drive as it'll begin in enemy territory already. And now Baltimore gets set to take the field. Well, CD, it's all window dressing at this point. I mean, the best they can do is end the game with a nice drive to maybe build some momentum to move forward into their next contest. Yeah, with how lopsided this game has been, even one score might not do a lot of cosmetic good on the scoreboard, partner, because it's just about looking forward at this point. Get a touchdown here, give yourself some positive momentum and reps to focus on when you get back to practice in the next couple of days. On second down, here's Jackson. That's caught. It's Flowers. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. Throwing now, Jackson on first down. Throw caught by Flowers. So five yards here, five on the play. And that'll bring up second down. To throw again is Jackson. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. At this point, down big, you'd have to imagine this defense are just going to sit back, blanket the field as best they can. Yeah, this is actually the easy part of the game for them because, just as you noted, they can sit back, keep everything in front of them. But they've blanketed the field the entire game using a variety of coverages. Jackson, and this is going to be caught. So an offensive final score of the outcome, but it is a late touchdown here on the game's final play. Doesn't affect the outcome, but... Hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play. But still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's, just, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on, this thing was done. So for Philadelphia, hey, you get a win, you get it on the road. You can't ask for much more than that to start the year. And they'll have another road date next week with the New York Giants. Meanwhile, for Baltimore, they go down to defeat here in the opener. And they'll try to get back on track next week as they head up to Orchard Park to take on the Buffalo Bills. So for our entire crew, alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. Thanks for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time.